The uh, Baseball Hall of Fame announced the 2020 Modern Baseball Era Ballot. Here we go. So these are the 10 people uh, that will um, be voted on. Dwight Evans, Steve Garvey, Tommy John, Don Mattingly, Marvin Miller, Thurman Munson, Dale Murphy, Dave Parker, Ted Simmons, and Lou Whitaker. Results will be announced December 8th on the MLB Network. And I, I got to tell you guys something. We'll get into this deeper when the Jets are not the story. Every one of those guys I mentioned, every one of them, deserves to be in the Hall of Fame before Harold Baines. And Harold Baines got elected from this, uh, essentially, but, this group. But what's funny is it, it's almost like you just said Harold Baines' name over and over again. There's a lot of borderline guys there. Right. And, and a lot of them are right in my wheelhouse. I watched most of them. Munson should be in there. Mattingly should be in there. Tommy John should be I mean, uh, as, how, how was Marvin Miller not in? Well, well Marvin baseball. Miller, because he was, I think, just a really deplorable human being at times. But he, well, you, can't, you can't underestimate his significance to the sport. He, why was he a deplorable human being? Why did he say that? He was just, he was just mean. Well, he, he was, was always he, just mean. And, and then he came he on our air and just did. showed, like, steroids are not a thing. It's like a made up. He was just, he was just, he said a lot of just, I read his book too, Michael. I mean, he was, he was very good at what he did, but the... It was, made you want to take a bath sometimes, the things that he said, because he was just so all in on the union and so for the players. But he did, he disparaged people. He, he said mistruths. I mean, how do you come on the air and say like, steroids have nothing to do with the talent of a like, Nothing. Like, he wouldn't, even, he wouldn't even bring it up as it being anything at all. And now you could say, I don't care about steroids, but to sit there and deny its abilities when guys are going out there hitting 70 home runs a year, and basically growing into another human being, and he made it seem like it was absolutely nothing at all. Right on this show, he did. I know he did. But, but I'm not going to say he wasn't a great union leader. He changed baseball. Not, but I'm saying that there's two different things there. But, but because again, he was also gonna, outstanding at what he did. If we're going to take all the miserable people out of the Hall of Fame, no, you're going to have an empty the, hall. That's why. But what I'm saying is, that, but you can't tell me that there aren't people out there that vote because of how they felt about him as a person, and also. As significant as it was to baseball, you know, with the with the money getting out of hand, and there's a lot of people that feel that what he did was bad for baseball. It was great for the players, and that's why I think he belongs in the Hall of Fame. But you can make the case that what free agency did to the sport it helped from the a sport. It, it, in some markets, it helped the sport. In some markets, it killed the sport. All the people that vote for this committee, though, are ex-players or managers. They should know what Marvin well, Miller committee. meant to the sport. But, yeah. but Marvin Miller was was bypassed by a lot of other uh, people leading up well, to this the, point. The, well, the, the, there was a committee with, with owners. This this is a committee with Joe Torre, Tony La Russa. No, he'll get in. Now he'll get in. But unfortunately, I think a lot of those guys are going to get in and probably don't belong. I mean, Steve Garvey was a heck of a player. Steve Garvey had the the streak for the longest amount of games played in a row in the National League, right? Yep. I don't know if he, I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. He was an outstanding player. I don't know if he's a Hall of Famer. Four gold gloves, won the MVP, two-time NLCS MVP, 294 batting average. I'm telling you, if Harold Baines is in, Steve Garvey's well, but, in. But I understand that, but, but again, I, I don't. You've I don't want to. I don't want to do that. But I, I look at him. To me, he's not a Hall of Famer. Well, this but is if, the committee that put in Harold Baines. But so he'll go in. in if, Steve Garvey. But you said if Harold Baines is in, then all those guys are in. But to me, I don't think any of those guys. To my criteria, is the greatest of all time. Listen, Tommy John, his name is after a surgery that is a significant surgery in professional sports. And he won over 200 games. games. But I don't, I don't look at him as, a, as one of the great pitchers of all time. I don't.